my name is Tanaya Goldsmith. I'm the CEO of the Childhood Drowning Prevention Foundation. Today I have with me um, Amy and Ty, and I'm going to be speaking with them in regards to an awful tragedy that happened in their family. They've been so gracious enough to share their story and to give some advice to other parents that have young children and especially kids that love to be around the water. So um, without further ado, Amy and Ty, can you guys just tell me a little bit about yourselves um, and your son, Mason? Well, I'm Amy, obviously, but um, my uh, I am a mom first and foremost. I um, I have um, do have five kids, other kids uh, besides Mason. Hello, everybody out there listening to this. My name's Ty. Um, I am a father of three. Um, I have two daughters. Uh, Mason was. Mason was my only son. Um, I have a, a 16 year old daughter, an eight year old daughter, and then Mason, who. Who is uh, who is two and a half still? Um, he uh, is my only son, and yeah. You guys went through this horrible tragedy that no uh, no family should ever have to go through. Tell us about what happened that day. Well, what happened that day is a day we'll never forget. I remember it second by second. Um, down to, it, it replays over in my head. Um, I had taken Mason for a drive with myself, my 18 year old daughter and my 10 year old daughter, nine at the, eight at the time uh, to Arizona for, to take her to her dad. And um, it was just a normal day. Um, it started out as a normal morning. Um, I asked my 18 year old daughter to uh, take, um, finish making Mason's breakfast for me while I ran to the store. Um, we were at my ex-husband's house as we were staying um, there as we're, you know, it's a 12 hour drive. So we, we were staying there and I went to the store that morning and I was gone a total of 23 minutes. And I got a call from my eight-year-old daughter that on the iPad that Mason had drowned in the pool. Um, and my 19-year-old daughter, like I was saying, has was making his breakfast for me, finishing it, making his breakfast. And Mason somehow, or at one point, um, let himself out of the house and into the backyard where, where the pool um, gate was left open. Uh, the gate was normally secured. Uh, we had no idea that the pool guy had been there the morning before everyone woke up. And so um, my ex-husband had asked that him on a normal basis to leave the pool gate open for his dogs so they could uh, come in out of, the, out of the heat into the shade. And so not knowing that we were there or not knowing that they had come that morning um, he left the gate open and Mason found his way to the pool. And that's when my 18 year old daughter found him. Um, tell us a little bit about, or tell me a little bit about what Mason's experience with the water was like before that, before that incident, before that tragedy. Mason um, was not afraid yeah. of the water. Mason was all about the water. He was, um, like make a beeline for the pool you know we have uh an above ground pool where we live so we would always have to take the ladder out you know so because he always wanted to climb up and to the pool all the time he wanted to swim every day you know during summer he that was like his place to be and which you know we regret on not taking advantage of getting him swimming lessons, you know, 
that year, but COVID hit. And then so we couldn't get it for him. And but before that, yeah. me, me being a swimmer for, for, for years, I taught my my youngest or my middle daughter to swim. Um, I was working with, with Mason to, to learn to swim. Um, I feel like he was just too comfortable with his floaties um, on his arms. And so he was fearless. Around it. We've had him at the lake. We've had him in, in little wade pools, you know, um, out, out in the creeks. Um, he was fearless of the water and fearless in general. He yeah. loved adventure and he was all about it. And it was just something that he was just, he was just drawn to. He was drawn to the water. So real quick, I wanna just show everyone um, a couple of pictures of Mason. Uh, these pictures, Amy, you sent to me and um, just wanted to share them so others can see who we're talking about, see this amazing little boy. So this one is of you, of you, Amy and Mason. I think this is probably one of my most favorite ones that you sent me because you guys are just so happy. Mason's just so into, he just seems so into that picture being taken. Um, and then here's, go ahead and share this one. This is you, Ty, and Mason. How old was Mason in this picture, if you don't mind me asking? One and a half. Yeah, about 18 months. Uh, yeah. I was going to say, he looks a lot younger in this picture than the other pictures. Yeah. <laughs> and then this one is the one that we've been sharing on social media of Mason. Yeah. That one is is the most um, spot on to him uh, at mm -hmm. the time that we, we lost him. The curls, the smile, the eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he is such an adorable kid. He really is. Thank you. In thank yes, thank you. And in life, not just not just a handsome, beautiful little boy, but full of life. And and you know, on on his headstone, he we had to engrave it hi because he would say hi to everybody <laughs> everybody that was his phrase hi hi <laughs> to everybody that, that he came in contact with and very sweet so tell us when when did this happen when did this incident happen on july, july 29th of 2018 2020 or 2020 Mason sorry. was born in 2018 <laughs> <laughs> July 29 2020 so that's almost a year and a half ago yes it's, yeah just yeah, over it's, 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 it's just over a year and a yeah. half um July will be two years yeah wow I just I'm being a parent myself I just I can't even begin to comprehend what you guys have been through like I've started this nonprofit in my business around the idea of preventing drowning among kids that are Mason's age, but I, and I know what happens. I know what happens. We had, I mean, Amy, you know, this, I classmate in high school died because he didn't know how to swim properly, but I mean, it doesn't take away that sting of hearing a story like this in person from someone that's been through it. It's, I just, you guys are very brave to be doing this right now. I, thank you guys, thank you so much for You're sharing welcome. your story. And tell us a little bit about how this, like the aftermath and where you guys have come from this incident, how it's affected your guys' lives. Well, my life is, it's a lot darker <laughs> um, in the sense that it's hard to find joy in a lot of things. I mean, me, myself, even just celebrating a birthday yesterday that I, um, I felt guilty for, for celebrating um, because Mason only got to have two birthdays, you know, to celebrate. And this, his second one was when COVID shut the, everything down. So mm -hmm. he didn't have a birthday party. He didn't have family. It was just, it was 
it was just us, which is fine. But you know, he didn't. We didn't get to celebrate his birthday like we would normally do. Um, life has been harder. You you look at things and people and uh, differently. You it's hard to see a little kid. Um, that's my one of my biggest things is is the uh, when I see a child, it's it's not the baby that I miss of Mason because he was already growing past he had already grown past the baby stage. It's the toddlers that I see at that age range that really um, really get me. Um, I do look at things differently now. I believe in a lot of things more than I did. Um, because Mason, I believe, has shown us a lot of signs that he's he's here and he's around us. Um, it's hard to, um, you know, the the milestones and and the dates, the anniversaries, um, those are hard. Um, it's I'll never be the same person. You know, living uh, the worst. Another worst thing about it is the um, the guilt that comes along with so many things. So many, you, you play everything back in your head and you play mm. the scenario and why didn't you do this? Why didn't I do that? Um, when in reality, it's, I had left him with my daughter multiple times. I mean, she's raised help. She's watched, you know, m many kids. It was just an accident and it was just something that we all li are will live with for the rest of our lives you know with that pain and and just we just feel that loss tremendously from mason not being here especially around the holidays um i'm gonna piggyback off of what amy said and um and just add to it that it has uh, opened up my eyes in a way where um, I want to speak to him. Uh, it's, uh, I try to pull a positive out of everything, you know? And yeah, I've had some dark days and uh, his his day of passing a year was a lot harder than his birthday, but um, it's uh, ha made me have a whole different look on life. And uh, don't take every don't take your children for granted. You know, not I'm not saying I took him for granted, but because they can be gone in a second, and so. If you could talk to every other parent out there and tell them one piece of advice or one thing that you want them to take away from your guys' story, what would it be? One, one thing that I can say is that it can happen to you, to your child. Even if you think that you, you're there with them, you're protecting them, um, anything could happen. You, you never know. It just takes 30 seconds, you know, um, it's, it's no pain that I would want any parent to deal with. Um, I, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Um, it's one thing to, you know, may possibly having a sick child and knowing that it's coming, but when it comes to something like a drowning that you, you, you're not able to plan for, for that or prepare yourself for that. Um, I would just say just, it's so important to, even starting from babies, I know that they, I would always see those videos. I would just see the babies learning to swim. Like it's never too early. It is never too early to, to get them started in, in just swim lessons. And I live with that regret that that's something that we didn't do for, for Mason, even knowing what I know about water mm -hmm. and you know swimming. So it's yeah, like what Ty said, you know, you can't take take anything for granted. Yeah. Your life can change in, 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 in a matter of seconds. 
What about you, Ty? What would you want to tell other parents? Just be aware of your child if they do not know how to swim around water, you know, and like just, you know, pay attention and um, because like anything can happen at any time. Um, like, I, I don't, I don't blame at all, um, uh, Alyssa, Amy's daughter at all, you know, cause that would be, it's, it wasn't, it wasn't her fault. Uh, Mason was just a little sneaky <laughs> and guy, I mean, the garage door was open. He had the choice to go. He could have went left and went out the, uh, the garage door. But no, he chose right to go to the water because that's what he loved, the water. So. Is there anything else that you guys would like to share about your experience or about Mason? Or I, I, I do, I would like to say something just about the grief. <laughs> you know, it, I, I, I can't say, or maybe I could possibly say it's, it's getting better, easier to, to handle, um, but it's um, I can I can tell it's going to be a lifelong fight, and it's it's just something I no no parent but something that is so preventable. There's you know this I I don't want a parent to have to live with that life of the pain that we know and, and our family knows. It's not just us as as parents. It's 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 our families together as a whole that lost and it's um we're all affected we all deal with it in our own ways um but we're all affected and we all miss miss him dearly it's, it's how do you not miss that face <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> it's a void that can never be filled or replaced or you know it's it's um it's just something that you have to learn to live with I just want to say, you know, thank you for um, letting us do this and do what you, know, you do. Yeah, uh, you know, because we want to help. You know, we want to get this information out there and you know, get that awareness. Awareness um, out there. So thank you. I, I really appreciate this. And oh, like, I appreciate you guys so yeah. much. Thank you so much. Whatever you need, I mean, <laughs> we'll be right there. You know, so. Yeah, I, I hope this is a, a, long, a long partnership with you guys and friendship with you guys that we can continue to work on getting the word out there about water safety and drowning prevention and Again, like I told you before, you guys aren't, I don't know if I'd be able to do what you guys are doing right now if that had happened to me. You guys are extremely brave and generous and kind. And thank you so much, Amy, for initially reaching out and for you guys doing this interview with me. Um, we'll be sending this out um, and mass droves to everyone that we know. Um, so we can get that word out there about this because, you know, a lot of parents, they just don't know what they don't know. And, you know, a lot of it, like you said, Amy, like it can, it can happen to you. And a lot of parents think like, no, it can't like either because they don't have a pool or because they think they're going to have their eyes on their kids 24 seven, you know, but you never know. You, like you always, you, you plan for the what ifs. And that's what I always tell parents plan for the what ifs because, you never know what that what if is going to be. It could be even in a baby pool, you know? In a bathtub. Yeah, in a mean, bathtub, you know? It could, it could happen anywhere. There's lots of them, you know? Yeah. And, and thank you again. This is one thing I do want to say that um, we're, this is going to be helpful for us. Yes, definitely. As, as well, you know? Mason, his life was for nothing, what was not for nothing, you know? And if we can get, you know, save help to save one, two, two hundred. Who knows? However, however many kids 
the families, you know, to save them from this pain. Um, it's 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 all worth it, or it's what we have to do in in Mason's name to um, let him continue. For the mighty Mason. For the mighty, mighty Mason. Mason. Yes. Well, thank you guys again so much for your time. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your day. Thank you.